Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you how to create this little look. So this is a look I actually saw in the M -M Mitchell's Insta stories. Obviously this is nowhere near as good, but I try my best. If you want to see how I created this look, then please keep so watching. I my lid with Max Paint Pot in soft ochre and just use a little bit of my face powder just to set that. So then the next thing I'm going in with is my Illamasqua sketch stick and this is in the shade Fly. If you've watched my tutorials, you know I use this all the time. If there's pink in an eye look, this will be on my eyeball. So this is just like a really, really chunky pencil and it's the pink colour. So I'm just getting that in my crease, being quite generous with it because we want this to be a really, really nice, bold look. Switching to my Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush, this is sort of a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to use circular motions to blend that product out. So once you're happy with that, I'm going to switch to my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. This is just a smaller version of that first brush. And I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Curfew, which is this purple colour just here. This is a smaller brush in that colour. I'm sort of wiggling that into my crease. And then once you've got that colour in place, I'm switching to my bigger brush again and blending those together. So once that's sort of blended, we're going to take a pink eyeshadow just to help with that blend. So I'm using the DFMA Colour Block Palette and I'm using this pink just here. It's a really, really vibrant pink. I'm taking that big brush and just catching the edge of that purple and blending that. Once you're happy with that, I'm switching to Makeup Geek's Vintage. This is sort of a dark neutral colour, but it's got a bit of a purpley undertone, so it's really nice for darkening up any sort of purple eye looks. So just with that same small brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just get that right in the outer corner. And then again, just switch into my big brush just to make sure that's all nicely blended. So once you're happy with those colours, the next step is to cut the crease. For this, I'm doing my normal cut crease routine, which is my Maybelline Eraser Eye in light and my Zoeva 226 Smudger Brush, which is a little oval flat brush. Just getting lots of that product on the brush and starting to create the shape, overdrawing it slightly because I've got hooded eyes and obviously when you open them you want to actually be able to see what I've spent hours trying to perfect. Then once you're happy with that, I'm not going to use any product to mattify this because I'm going to use a pigment so the tackiness of the concealer will really help that pigment to stick. But just to help with this blend here, I'm just taking my finger and I'm just patting the edge, sort of where the concealer meets the eyeshadow. So for this, we're using the shade Curfew, which was that purple shade we used in the crease first. And we're sort of using patting motions and that little brush, just starting to bring that onto the lid. And then just using a little bit of that slightly darker color again, just to sort of bring that back in from the edge. So now we are going to introduce this blue colour just here. So this colour is the light blue in the DFMA palette, which is this one just here. And to pop this on, we are using the same small crease brush, but just a clean version of this. is the second one of that brush that I have. And we're just going to take that colour and again, using those patting motions, just starting to bring that colour onto the lid. So then once you're happy with that, I'm switching to my Luxe Smoky Shader brush. This is a weaver brush again, and this is just a flat rounded brush. And I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, and I'm gonna take this color just here, which is Ounce, and this is just sort of a nice pale shimmery shade. So I'm gonna load my brush up with that, and just pack that over this front part of the lid. So next, using that same brush, we're taking Peaches and Cream Mermaid's Pigment, and to put this on, I'm gonna take my YSL setting spray, and I'm just gonna spritz my brush with that. We're working with a nice damp brush, and pick up that pigment, and I'm just stamping that over the 
cut crease there. Bringing that over the blue a little bit. Switching back to the brush we've used for the blue and a tiny bit more product. Just really making sure that's a nice strong pop of colour there. The next thing to do is go in with my eyeliner. For this I'm using my Maybelline Master Ink Waterproof Black Eyeliner, the one that I always use. And I'm just going to use this and start to create the wing. So now my lashes and everything else is on, we're on to the under eye. So we're just basically repeating all the steps we took above, below. So starting with my Illamasqua sketch stick and switching to my big fluffy brush. Then switching to the small brush that we've used for those purple colours and taking that shade Curfew. And then switching back to the big brush and that pink in the DFMA palette. And then to bring that blue into the under eye a little bit, I'm going to use a coloured eyeliner. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Colour in Ice Blue, which is this. It's sort of like a gel liner kind of consistency. So I don't think they actually do these anymore but I'll try and find something similar to link below. And for this, I'm just using a little paintbrush. It's just a nice, precise tip. So then I'm just going to use my mascara and just do a little wiggle through my lower lashes. And last but not least, I'm going to take that Mermaid's Pigment again. And I'm going to take my Luxe Pencil Brush by Zoeva. This is just a little brush here. Again, using my setting spray, gonna give that a spritz. And I'm just gonna pop some of that pigment in that inner corner. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so this is a really good sort of festival look or if you just want a bit of color in your life or maybe if you're going to a pride event or anything like that it's just perfect so i will see you all next time